Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about screens and screen managers. So, so far, we've only created two files main.py and kiwi-tutor.kb. So, we're still going to keep on kiwi-tutor, the file, and we're going to edit this. So, let's just erase that label and then create the screen manager. So, screen manager is going to be inside the kiwi-tutor root widget. So, it's all good so far. So, let's just do it screen manager simple as that you guys just created a screen manager object oh man this is getting annoying i gotta fix that <clears throat> and then we create an id that way we can call it later in within our python code so screen manager descriptive enough and then it's going to be start it's going to have a, a screen called start screen and uh, right now we'll define that one so we're just sitting right here so the name that we're gonna give it is start screen Sim pretty simple and then <clears throat> we're gonna create that screen right here so start screen there you go just like that and it's going to inherit the screen from screen simple as that bam all right so let me just go over the screen managers do exactly what they sound like they manage screens so they control the whole uh, transitioning from one screen to another and all that good stuff and screens well basically you know what a screen is is what it, it's 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 well, the screen that's showing the widgets uh, I don't know how to explain it better but you guys can probably figure out what a screen is just the name says it all now the screen oh man oh come on this is gonna get really annoying now the screen um, widget can only hold one uh, one widget at a time. So the way we can have it hold multiple things is by adding a box layout. And since we know a box layout can hold multiple widgets, so let's just do that. So sweet, we added a box layout. Now we're gonna set up the settings for it. So this is what we're gonna do: uh, orientation. So it can either be vertical or horizontal. So we're going to set it to vertical. That's how we want things to be laid out. And then padding is the amount of padding that you want around this box layout. So let's just give it 2% of the width and the height. So how do you spell width? Oh man, I, I, oh my God, I'm ashamed. I can't even spell. Times 0 0.02. You know what? Let me activate something. Sparks not. Okay, there you go. All right, sweet. Now we get for the width, now for the height, root dot height uh, times uh, dot zero two. Okay, sweet, there you go. So the X and the Y, width and height. Now let's do spacing. Now the spacing is the amount of spacing, obviously, of, uh, around the widgets. So it's we're gonna choose either from, there you go, either from the width or the height, whichever one is the smallest. And then we're gonna multiply that by 2% so I like 2% because it looks nice you guys can change it you guys can make it 1% you guys can even make it 50% but I don't think you want to do that so mess around and see what you like so I'm gonna switch it back to 2 alright cool alright what to do next what to do next alright we're just gonna show a label and the text is going to be um, we're gonna use markup so basically we're gonna make this text bold and how we do that is by using markup so if you guys want you guys can look up the, the Kibi documentation for uh, certain things on how to do markup such as italicize or bold letters and words and all that good stuff so for bolding we do this brackets B so yeah so then it's gonna be Kiwi math tutor you guys can obviously change the title but hey if you want to follow along then you know just type the same as me and there you go so doing this isn't enough we need to let the label know that we are using markup and how we do that is use markup and we set it to true by default it's set to false so if we do that this will now be displayed in bold all right cool now uh, what do we need to do next we need to do a button next so yeah uh, let's see and then test some text so let's just save this template and copy this a couple times my friend so yeah let's just do this how many buttons is that I don't know we'll figure it out but anyways this is gonna be addition this is gonna be subtraction oops ah oh, come on can't even type man I can never type 
multiplication division and then the two other buttons that I show so mix with an exclamation mark because that's how awesome it is and then a little about about this awesome app there you go so sweet I made it just enough alright so these buttons are shown right here except the thing is these buttons won't do anything yet because I have not defined that on press or on release function release but we'll do that later for now we have enough alright sweet so we just created our our um, our start screen widget so let's go ahead and switch to the shell and then run it and see how it looks and I made a mistake what is this uh, builder lang orientation padding root that with ah uh, did I misspell height G yeah I did wow I suck at English so bad is that how you spell height GHT isn't it oh my god I, I am embarrassed of even doing this there you go so yeah look it's similar to the other one where we got it started working so yeah it's pretty it's pretty freaking simple man so just like I said it doesn't do anything but hey you're one step closer to one step closer to finishing that little math tutor application so yeah uh, so let's just do a, a quick recap. So we created a screen manager because we want to be able to control screens because obviously we're going to have multiple screens such as showing the math screen, the about screen and all that good stuff. And for each screen that we create, we add it here. So here's start screen. We say we're going to add a start screen widget and Kiwi knows the, the start screen because we defined it right here and it knows all the good stuff that needs to be inside of it. So if we want to add more screens, we can just do another screen and then give it another name and all that good stuff. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I think you guys will know everything else by the by just looking at it. And obviously, we do not need to change anything in uh, the main file. It's still the same. So yeah, so sweet. I'll continue the next one.